greetings from AIA, and it's a real pleasure to be here, particularly thanks to TelematXY for hosting this event. Rightly, my previous speakers have mentioned it is a welcome change for all of us meeting face to face and trying to partner in achieving that solutions that looks really a big challenge. So as ARI, what do we really bring on board or what we do? Known for putting forward or a regulatory mechanism through engaging the stakeholders, we believe it is real time to come forward and because this is a time when everything is evolving, almost we are Normally we used to lag and we used to adopt what has been happening or what has happened. But this is now a time when we are really at par and look to provide solutions, not only to ourselves, but also on a global platform. So why the connected vehicle scenario comes into way, how we are placed, uh, these generations are well known, but if you look at this, we are normally around the one and the two level very comfortably placed. Some, uh, what I can say, teasers by a few of the OEMs to engage or to showcase what is, what is in store has been uh, the stimulant for many to aspire for bigger things. Uh, my previous speakers have shown that bigger picture means what exactly are you looking ahead for or what are we, can we attain in the due course of time. My, one of my efforts will be to see how we reach over there in the best possible way or taking all of us together in that journey. Uh, if you look at uh, the technology, means technology players, uh, providing greater value. India, India has been really in the forefront, particularly not only because of its big market, not only because of its uh, desire for internet users and connected players on that, but somehow the uh, capacity or the willingness to pay for such scenario, uh, such applications although we are a very cost sensitive market. And this has been a surprising change, a very welcome change in many way for innovators and people who have been providing solutions. COVID have been a hamper in many ways, hampered many of the growth trajectories, but what it has not deterred is uh, solutions that provide customer satisfaction or customer reach or customer connect. And this has shown a continuous ongoing growth and that has been the buy-in force by many of us sitting over here and trying to see what more is going to come to us. Yeah, the transforming the lives, it is not an easy task through connectivity around 80% prefer the vehicle connectivity and it is a growing community. They are just wanting that there should be more coming up. What has been the small things that has provided solution is the comfort through your smartphones, getting connected to your cars and hands-free sort of a thing. Uh, we look at, we are around at 5% of that, but as rightly mentioned by one of my speakers before, Globally, it is something hovering around 30%, so we have much to catch up on that side. So, what are the key drivers? More digital servers, bigger, better, robust ones. Command the car using these devices. Utilizing the time in the car for various aspects, the travel journeys as they are becoming more and more complex, we want to use them. And the rise in the user connectivity and the comfort that it can provide to us. Ah, this is a well-known slide, means how in the coming time, the vehicle 
will be connected to various aspects. Some of them are already very much in place, but some of them have to evolve and provide. And this is where the complete scenario will emerge as the vehicle to X technology matures uh, in the due course of time. So you can see the gamut, the wide gamut that is available for pro solution providers. And th this is where I think the support has, has been sought earlier. And we do play a major role in that, and we do want to be a part of that, not only just trying to frame some safe and uh, robust regulatory mechanism, but try to be a solution provider in many of these or be a part of that solution provider, getting the best solution for the India case. So what is happening with the challenges that we have with more and more connectivity and all? Uh, as rightly mentioned, the amount of software or the hardware that are getting inbuilt into the vehicle is growing in an exponential manner. Uh, now, a mechanical engineer can many a time just keep thinking how long can he be a part of this growing community sort of a thing. Are the EVs taking over is one part, but within the IC engine scenario itself, the challenges are becoming much more. Uh, the OBD2 is a once, now it looks like a very small step sort of a thing. When it was being discussed, it was a mountain that was looking like surmount, means un, you can't conquer it sort of a thing. It was a big challenge. There is telematic, there is infotainment. Security comes as in a big way. The number of ECUs that are going to play a major role for each application, again, is going to be a challenge that is going to come. So how do we address them? What are the solution to us, or how do a customer feel comfortable with so many technologies or software going to play, or going to be a major part of the car, the very car that he's driving or he's owning? Uh, the regulatory mechanism is offering some solution. Why it is important? It uh, gives a real level playing ground to all the players, understand what has to be offered. So this has to be put into place so that uh, we all understand what the offering is for the general public or each one of us. It started with something like the ISO 26262, now very much a core component of it. The ISO 3100, the cyber security risk aspect, both trying to work out the SAE 21434 the UN EC regulations coming into play. And now, India too has been working on this direction, trying to build upon this and trying to bring in regulations through the AIS so that we are ready for what is going to be offered in the due course of time. The cybersecurity management system, the CSMS or the UN EC R155, similar to that, so we have one AS coming into place for that. And similarly, for the software update management system, again, there is an AS being worked out for that too. So there, all the stakeholders, most of them who are part of this meeting are very key players trying to contribute, trying to see that we are not lagging behind on that aspect when we are providing solutions or when systems are put into place in the vehicles. These are thoroughly evaluated and ready for the market. So regulations don't see it as an hampering or a deterrent, but an enabler for more assurance and more customer readiness to accept the solutions that are being offered as of now. So what do we do as ARAI? Apart from coming together or bringing together uh, the various stakeholders together. The safety and security, as we have been mentioning, each of these solutions are coming sometimes on a piecemeal basis. They are sometimes integrated together. Sometimes the OEM prefers to take one at a time rather than the whole thing together. 
but building or taking care of it at each step or each phase, the validation, when the design is done, it is being validated or verified, taken care of the both the safety and the security aspect. When the architecture is done, how it is being taken care of. And when the complete solution at each step has been designed or validated, that is what now today ARI is being trying to do. So we have people who work on that, dedicated team that works on that so that we provide that support to the industry, not only by ourselves, but through collaborations too. So when we provide the regulatory mechanisms into place, we also ensure that we have the capability to assess and to see uh, the right measures of safety and security are put into place in these things or not. What are other aspects that we work on? So various vehicle to X functions and features, these development use cases are being now tried out. So there are uh, various use cases we are working on in various manners. Uh, the validations and tests, these are very much in place. And especially for the India specific scenarios, these are being built in. Simulations for testing, basically the hardware in loop or the machine in loop, uh, the whole driver in loop systems, these are now also being carried out. Not only the testing on the road, we are now setting up uh, ADAS test facilities needed for the futuristic requirement. We understand the industry. Drive-by-wire is a thing that we have been doing, especially for uh, our college or what I can, people who would like to build up softwares, try to give them, but we really provide them that vehicle wired so that they can play with it, they can really build robust softwares and mechanisms on that. And basically the assessment of threat, cyber threat assessment or the security assessment, these categories we have already been prepared. Uh, some of our engineers now have been certified for this regulatory mechanism to do the assessment and we are trying to build it up on that level. They have done the level two. We are trying to see that they are level three so that they can carry out the assessments also. So this is how we really want to be partnering or we want to be together in this journey of developing uh, India-specific cases, India becoming almost at par in this journey of connected vehicles. Thank you.